What's up everybody, Doug, Big Kid Power Sports. Today we're going to take a look at an auto tensioner off of a uh, Articat chain case. You'll find these on sleds with reverse. So the only real reason that you would ever really go inside one of these, obviously, if it's just not operating as it should anymore, this one has a crack. The whole lid's cracked up there. You can see that. How the hell that happened? No idea. But this, you'll find this on your chain case. This will be in the side of the chain case. This is, from this portion in, would be inside the chain case. You'll see this inside the chain case. This would mount to the outside of the case. The set screw, you might see that. You might be behind it. It's just, the, you know, it just depends on how this unit threads into the chain case where that uh, where that set screw ends up. So if you are just going inside your chain case and taking gears off, whatever, maintaining some things in there, you can hand screw this. This would still be mounted in your chain case. You don't have to take it off or anything. Just hand screw that all the way in, set that set screw, and that'll hold it and it'll be out of the way. You'll be able to take the chain off, take gears out, all that kind of stuff. Today, we are going to go inside this, get a good look and see what's going on in there, how it works, and uh, get a little better understanding of, of uh, what, it, what operates in there. So first off, you're gonna take the face of this off. When it's all the way out, down, you're not going to have any spring tension on here, so nothing's going to jump out in your face. This acts pretty much like a recoil. So if you've ever done a recoil, I'm sorry that I just said recoil and scared the hell out of you, but that's pretty much what's happening in here. Don't worry, nothing should uh, lacerate your eye or anything like that. It's not that crazy. So if you have something about recoils and you're scared to death of them, you know, this is like a little baby recoil in here. Don't be scared. So you got the lid. There's going to be an O-ring here. This lid, you can see that thing, that's pretty cracked up. That needs to get replaced. Again, no idea how that happened, but probably not the best. So you got that, you got your Torx off, you got that off. This is what the meat and potatoes of going on in here is. This is the spring. It's a nice, it's a big wide spring. There's that O-ring. There's your spring. If your spring's damaged or whatever, at this point, you take that out. This is the little uh, attachment that the spring attaches to. At the bottom of that, you'll see the end of this screw. Should be like a hex end on there. That fits inside of this cylinder. And that's what mates the two together. The spring. Rests against that. So when you're tensioning this, it's putting tension on the spring. That little tab there is stopping the spring. That's what's causing the tension inside this thing. So if for whatever reason you find yourself inside of this at the moment, putting it back together. You back this all the way out. Not so it's super tight or anything, but just back it out. This spring, easiest is, okay, if you're replacing the spring, you got it all the way off. You can see the set screw kind of bites in that a little bit. So if you've got damage there, you're replacing that. Whatever it brings you in here. If we put the spring back on, the spring is going to coil clockwise. That's what's going to give you the uh, the tension. So you see that? Recoiling back, you know, the spring's recoiling backwards first. Clockwise, rather, not backwards. All right, easiest is to just get that spring as tight as you can on this, uh, this peg before you put it all back in there. Wind it up, I find it easiest to uh, wind it by hand like this. It's not as tough as a recoil spring, so if you've done a recoil spring before and you're a little nervous about this, this is definitely way easier. 
Okay, so the bottom of this shaft has the little cover that'll go over this hex. Get that spring in there as best you can. Might have to make a little room for that tab. I could make it in, so we're going to have to wind it up a little tighter here. Okay. Springs in. Cap. Really doesn't matter where it goes. It's going to find its way in there naturally, but I would start with that tab in that outside hook. Don't forget your O-ring. O-ring snaps in there. Looks good. Line that up. Get your torques back on. Cat loves them some torques. Okay. You obviously tighten that up. We're just going to loosen it or get it a little tight here so that cap doesn't fly off. At that point, you can put some tension on that, back this bolt out, put back in there, set the set screw. That'll hold against that cylinder inside. It'll be loaded. You twist this back into your chain case. At that point, put your chain case back together. When you're all done, the last thing you want to do is loosen that uh, that set screw. And that's what's going to give you the chain tension right there. Now it's activated. It's all back in there. You're ready to get back on the trail. If you need any other help with this, let us know. 815-363-1254. You can visit us online, bigkidpowersports.com. If you need parts for this, if you need a used tensioner, if you need other used parts for your machine, Big Kid Power Sports. Check us out.